Yes. Uh, I am thirsty. Do we have something else to drink? Yeah. Oh, I, when you said that, I was thinking thirsty. you were thinking you were actually really thirsty. I was like, me too. That like made my mouth dry. It actually did. That's funny. I almost grabbed we that. Have I'm really excited this about this one. She is. This one does look good. So it's the RAR Brewing. And so in one of our groups that we're in, the 513 Craft Brew with our friend Zach Hawley, he uh, he posted one of these. It was an out of order series, and then you said, "Ah, oh, I wanna, I can't wait to have another one." We we did one of those, and I'm like, "I'm bringing that." Yeah, that, you know, so. that worked out really well, yeah. actually. Yeah, because we had one, I think, like probably around Christmas time. Yeah, maybe. It, well, it was because I think we went to Jungle Gyms, like right. So it was after we went right to before. The, yeah, well, it was right around the time we went to that um, the Brinks. Yeah, the beer fest thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like around the holidays, we had one of these and he had posted it. And I was like, man, I can't wait to try another one of those. Yeah. So this is the Out of Order series and it's Sunrise Short Stack. American Sour, 1.6% alcohol by volume. And they're out of Cambridge, Maryland. And let's see, brewed with copious amounts of banana, mango, maple syrup, and lactose. Yum. Is banana, pa- banana art- pancake sour? I like yeah. the artwork on these too. I think I'm they're. Thinking, yeah. I think he's Reminds a cute little character. Of, uh, like, remember the old like slushies or whatever, yes. the slush puppies. That's what, exactly what I was thinking of. Did you I, do a porn shot of the can? I did not. We'll have to do that after. Oh my god! Because I was not thinking. Oh you still porn my shot. god! I guess, yeah, I could. Did you, you did you porn shot the astronaut food? I did. She did. I watched her. I'm on top of this shit, man. All right. So we're gonna dump it in there. That's like. Almost the same color, but a little bit lighter. Uh, it's not clearer. As thick. It's, it's definitely more not clear. as thick. It's got some head that's going in there. Not much head. It's giving us head. some head. Let me get this out of the way for the wire. It looks like a normal beer, really. Kind of. Except for slight, maybe a little bit maybe darker. Maybe like a hazy like, IPA kind of a Yeah, look. maybe a little more hazy. Man, it's windy as fuck outside right now, guys. Dude, it is raining, beat all hell. Um, it's been rather fucked like, today. Going from like, you know... 80, 90, sunny, everything to just this depressed rain. random. She's like, I want to go away from all that. Yeah, dude. Oh, thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Ron's got the good head, son of a bitch. I like having the good head. Ooh, it Ooh. smells really good. It does smell really good. Very Kind of smell the ma- like maple and banana. Like a strong sense. Oh, no, that's delicious. Oh, definitely. Definitely got that maple right off the bat. Mm. Oh, my God. Of, like the banana. That reminds. It tastes like juice. And after it sits for a minute, you get the maple, getting that maple syrup again. Yeah, that maple like, it reminds me of something I've had before. It's like um, a few weeks ago, a month ago now, I was on like a pancake fix for breakfast every morning, and I made like uh, banana pancakes. It's tasting just like that when I dumped the maple syrup on it. Yeah, you get kind of like a shot of like the banana and mango a little mm-hmm. bit, and then like immediately you start getting the maple, and. It reminds me of a sweet version of McDonald's orange juice. Hmm. With kind of. if you're eating one of the like a, a McGriddle alongside of it. Yeah. God, I'm trying definitely to think. got the McGriddle flavor. Yeah, yeah. that's what that. I'm trying to think that's of. What it's, McGriddle. That's what it kind of has yeah. me a, a McGriddle. Yeah. Man, I haven't had one of those in a minute. Man, those are good. Like, McGriddles just... are cool, but like they're just too damn sweet for me most mornings. I haven't had one in a long time because I got stuck on those steak, egg, and cheese bagels. I don't really eat at McDonald's much. Neither do I. I don't eat out. Uh, I don't eat fast food much. I ate that shit way too much when I was on vacation. I need it. One of the problems I discovered is I am too damn fat. And like yeah, everything absolutely. hurt every day that, that for happens. all the walking. Right. Well, if you can't stand for an hour and fifteen minutes, you can't walk for six hours straight. So this Eight like to ten. Eight to ten. There you go. This has kind of the same bubble factor as that other beer. Real small bubble. Yeah. I noticed that like it wasn't even really bubbly at all when I was pouring it. You said this was a six percent, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fucking mm. delicious. See, it's slightly. This it, it just kind of reminds me of like a maple syrup pancake orange juice. For some reason, with the astronaut food in this, I'm feeling like everything thus far this episode's breakfast themed. Kind of. Uh, the, the astronaut food isn't breakfasty though. I feel like it, it felt like uh, bitter peach juice for the morning or something. You know, like an orange juice almost. This one's definitely orange juice. God, well, that one's, one's like delicious. a that was a tart orange juice. This is like a sweet orange juice. Is what it kind of makes me think of. 
I bet they'd probably be good mixed together. I bet. I wish I still had some because I would just slam it in there. That, that would definitely, Achoo. the sweetness of this one would definitely take care of the lack of sweetness in the other. Mm -hmm. This one's good. I like it. So what about your Uber story? Mm. Oh, man. The cops showed up and everything. This was great. Oh, shit. <laughs> your, 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 your people? So I uh, I thought she was going to get arrested. But they, they weren't aggressive or anything. It was just like a fucking weird ass shit. So I, I uh, got this trip at, for someone in Brookville going to the airport. And I'm like, okay, that's not unrealistic. So I... Um, Sorry. Oh, that's all right. I thought I spilled it. I thought you did too. <laughs> Party foul. I am. Um, so, I, and on the way there, I was almost there, and then I get a text, because, like, the, you know, the rider was from, like, a chick, and then, but the uh, the text was from a dude, and he's like, yeah, this is Philip. You're taking my daughter to the airport. Would it be possible that you take her to the post office real quick before taking her to the airport? She's got herself in a little bit of trouble. Like, I had no problem making the extra stop, but I was like, she's got herself in some trouble. I'm like, what's going to happen? Like, is she like, you know, is she trying to move away from an abusive boyfriend while he's at work and I'm trying to sneak her out of there? I'm like, damn, should I be packing? Like, you know, should I, should I have some kind of like escape plan, you know, like park here instead so I can get here and not get trapped in the driveway? You know, I have all these things going through my head. So I pick up, I go to pick up this chick, and she comes out. She looks like pretty frazzled and like, um, like, just kind of really worn down and a little bit anxious. And I was just like, all right, cool, you know. And so I, like, sh she comes out with a bat, like a box, and she, I open the trunk. Well, she had a, like a book bag maybe first off, and I opened the trunk, and so she was like, oh, that's because I, I saw the huge box. That's what it was. I was like, oh, she's like mailing something big. And then I was like, is that it? She's like, no. She goes, I got like about four more boxes in uh, my luggage. I was like, damn. All the boxes are the same size. So they were like oh, at least two feet wide by two feet, you know, and maybe like one and a half feet tall. Do you have so. enough space in your car for that? Yeah, barely. Okay. Like, and um, she was loading these boxes and she was getting them like one by one and she'd be gone for a little bit. So I think she was going all the way into the house. Like she didn't have them set out one by one. And I'm kind of looking around, you know, and I see this guy. He's walking by, and he's just a normal dude. He, like, it's just, he was wearing not, like, really nice clothes. It was, like, embroidered pants and, like, an embroidered matching jean jacket. And it just, he didn't look, I was going to wait till everybody was done drinking oh. so I could evenly pour. But, yeah, Go I, I got gotcha. you. So, anyway, this, um, but, so I was looking, he just, he looked normal, but also looked out of place. But under, he didn't, he didn't look. Top? He didn't, no, he didn't look threatening by any means. And uh, the, the post office was literally like 400 feet up. So when we got everything in there, I went to the post office. So she was going to ship all of those boxes. And we pull up, you know, and I, I, I help her take the boxes out, you know, to get the ball rolling. And the dude walks up around the corner. He's like, yeah, I'm with her. Like, I'm, I'm helping her. I was like, That's kind of weird. Why didn't he hop in? But he, like, just hopped in and grabbed and went straight to, towards the door. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. And um, then he's, like, outside on his phone and stuff, and, like, she's trying to get everything shipped. And, you know, like, the dad, when he had texted me, he said, that he's like, oh, you know, I'll give you a bonus, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And I just, like, I believed it. So I was kind of like, especially he said his daughter was in trouble. I'm like, yeah, he's probably going to pay for something good. Especially if it's like this is, like, an airport trip and whatnot. But uh, I was like... I'll say that's going to be some thick, thick I'm stuff in that last pour. But, um, <clears throat> so as I'm a little bit sour there, but so as I'm, um, you know, I helped her and I'm sitting there waiting. She, she had come out and I rolled down the window and she was saying, she goes, yeah, my dad's sending me more money because I don't have enough money to ship these to him. So she's like, it's just going to be a little bit. She's like, and my dad tipped you, but he, she said it maxed out the tip. She's like, can I have a picture of your Venmo? And I was like, I don't have Venmo. I have Cash App. She's like, what do you have, PayPal? And I was like, yeah. So I sent her, like, my info to send me more money. And I was like, that's weird, like, maxing it out. And so, which, if, if it's before a trip, $20 is the max you can pay if you're pre-tipping. But if you want to tip more after that, you can. But um, so I'm, like, waiting 
And like all of a sudden, I'm seeing this guy in a weird vest, and he's talking to this dude, and my window's down. And I looked, I was like, it was a police vest. And he wasn't in uniform. I was like, God damn it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then, because like another cop pulled up, and like another cop, so there's like three out there talking to him. And this guy's going on about how the neighbors are mocking him through the walls at night, and how like they're they're just they're keeping him up and and then like they hear him screaming at kids and I was like okay maybe you know if they hear screaming and, and like they hear abuse I was like maybe that could be true but the way the guy was like saying all this stuff tweaking oh yes I mean like it, it, it just like, he kept going on and on about it he's like and we haven't slept in days and I was like I can tell you why you haven't slept in days and um so I'm like waiting and this is taking forever and it's like yeah I was in no trouble because one of the cops came out he's like are you supposed to be taking her someplace I was like yeah to the airport I'm the Uber driver he's like yeah okay cool and so I'm just waiting and waiting and uh you know I hear his story about how they're like making noises keeping them up at night threatening them and threatening people and they're hearing kids screaming but the, like the story had all kinds of holes in it because it never really started any place and never really ended any place and when the cops would be like, well, who's kids? And like the guy was like, well, I don't know who's kids, but they're the kids that are there. And it's like, there should be a little bit more. You should see these kids out playing around, you know, like whatever. And so he keeps going on and on about it. And he's like, they're using some kind of weird thing that's vibrating the floors so we can't record it. But yet it keeps us awake. And I'm like, yep, there you go. And I'm like, I've heard plenty of the stories of how well we recorded several times but couldn't for some reason it didn't work stories when I was doing 911 and so um so you know this is like I'm so, like I've waited almost an hour and I'm like fuck and so I take her to the airport and she's talking she's like yeah this is like really fucked up and it sucks and so I'm like, oh, what happened? And she went through with the same spiel, and she's like, they're using power tools all night, and they're, they're keeping us awake, but they're doing it in such a way that, like, we can hear it through the walls, and you can't sleep through it at all. But at the same time, you, uh, like, our phones won't pick it up. They're doing it quietly enough that we can't hear, like, we can't record it. And I was just, like, the shit that goes around, I'm like... Circular drugged out logic. Like, I would <clears throat> not ever try meth just for that, but I'm like... I understood exactly what was going on. I'm like, her dad's moving her away from the drugs to get her clean. I was like, Jesus. Like, it was, it was pretty cool of her dad to do that, you know? Yeah. Like, but it just the fact that I sat there for an hour and I'm like, yeah, I don't get paid. I get paid 13 cents a minute to just sit and wait. So I'm like, I hope this dude pays. He's $70 tip. Nice. It came through. I was like, nice. fuck yeah. Nice. I was like, I, I got paid like, like $98 for that. You know, it, it took like an hour and 10 minutes total. So uh, I wasn't gonna complain. Hey, about ninety dollars an hour, oh, ninety dollars right. an hour. That, that's uh, can't beat that. Easy time there. I mean, you can beat that, but right, yeah. I mean, because if somebody wanted to tip a hundred dollars, and I just beat it, you that's know, that's badass. But though. but no, I uh, that was like one hell of a an interesting situation. Just sitting there, I was like, I, it was just weird, weird experience. People Uber. on drugs are weird, man. Are. So like, you just reminded me of something, like. I remember, like, I used to work in a hotel back in the day, right? I worked the night shift at the front desk. And, like, my uh, my ex, like, when we first got together, he would come and hang out at night, you know, and, like, sit with me. And we would sit in the breakfast room and watch TV. And, you know, that, like, on the weekends or whatever, there'd always be drunk people around or something, you know. And I can, like, remember this chick walking in, and she's, like, really, like, like loud and just like out there and I'm like what the fuck is that with this and he's like she's definitely on coke or something I'm like obviously and she's like standing there talking to him she's like rubbing her crotch on his elbow as she's talking to him and I'm like what the fuck is with these people he's like yeah she's coked out man that's fucking funny <laughs> but yeah she's just sitting there like like rubbing her crotch on his elbow like it's like the most normal thing in the world or something and I'm just well, like the what fuck do you do? What, what, what? I mean, what do you do on Tuesdays? <laughs> I mean, other than drink beer with us, but. Never had a crotch rubbing on my elbow, and I'm a little bit pissed <laughs> off, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you're a little upset by that, I mean, I can help you out if you really want. No! Sure. That's Are right. You sure? Wait, till, wait till she drinks that next one, then you might be able to get her. <laughs> well, what if it was Ariana rub her crotch on you? Would that be okay? So I'd have to be like, hell yeah, you do it. And then it would just be like, that would be funny. But for like 
like boys can't be perverts. I think girls can have some bit of a pervert without being like okay, because yeah, cause that's you're where not it's like end. really feeling anything. If you know, if I'm rubbing my crotch, you're not really like I'm not getting right. a boner. And uh, see, I, I, I feel like if Ariana rubbed her crotch on me to be funny. Like, then it would be like, that would be the end of it. She'd be like, that wasn't sexual. That was funny. When well, a dude I mean, does it, then he's going to be like, all super jerking off to you for the next three months until you say, dude, back the fuck off. Like, Ooh, Ron. Ew, gross. Well, like, Get the well, fuck out of here, man. Is, it's like the coked out chick being all fucked up in her head. Is that like something that she's going to be jerking off to? Probably not. She I mean, probably I mean, forgot about it as soon as probably, she... She like, probably forgot about it as she was doing it. Probably. Or, like, didn't even think... It, like, it was normal, you know? Right. Like, I mean... Being that I've mm-hmm. never done coke, I don't actually know what it does to you other than the uh, hype you up kind of a thing. Oh, well, maybe you should just, like, you know, do a line and start rubbing your boner all over everything and well, see... Not on me. <laughs> maybe maybe that's Damn just it. like her normal thing. Maybe she just walks around and rubs her crotches on everybody. That's, like that's her um, crotches. Her crotch. How many crotches do you her, have, her ma'am? Crotches. <laughs> maybe she's got like crabs that are secretly in control of her brain. I, and they're just rubbing themselves on everything. That would be meth. Uh, maybe. Uh, but um, so, no, what was I? Oh, that's, it's her trets. She has trets. And so when she, she just, <laughs> rub, that's her, her, her twitch or her, um, what do you call it? Her, um, her, her trits thing. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's her tick. tick that's, yeah, that's, she rubs her crotch all over That's funny everything. because I just said something about a Tourette's tick the other day. That's great. Here. All righty. Clean. I was, oh. have you seen that girl on TikTok who, um, she has Tourette's and her tick is like, you're done. You're done. Mm-mm. So like, there's like, that's one of her ticks. And like, I went down the road, I ran down the road the other day and this dog comes running up behind me and I'm like, where the fuck did this? You, you don't make me drink. Sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I just, no, that's what I'm thinking. This dog comes running up behind me. I'm like, where the fuck does dog come from? You know, it was just like, there's two houses. So I'm like, it, it came from one or the other. And, uh. Next thing I know, like I go run down the road and this dog's kind of following me and I'm trying to get it like to go somewhere and my, the people come outside and they're like out there yelling I'm like oh that's where he is and then we were like down towards the other house by now and I'm like well shit now I'm gonna have to walk this damn dog back you know and this guy's like out there going you're done you're done <laughs> <laughs> to the dog it just made me laugh I don't know that's great man oh. to, to loop back to my stupid trip Charlie, oh my God! I thought he was gonna die when I came home yesterday. Who's Charlie? Like, my my freaking dog, my I, big black dumb I, dumb dog. They might know, but just in case they don't, I have know. a big black labradoodle. He's like seven eight years old. He is handsome as fuck. He is a wonderful good boy, and he missed me so fucking much. Like he was when I got up this morning. He was sleeping by my bedroom door. He never does that. And, like, when I went to leave to come here tonight, he was like, don't leave me. I'm doing everything in his power to, like, get me to stay. At one point, mind you, he's like a 75-pound dog. Um, I was sitting on the recliner, and he, like, tried to crawl up onto my lap. So, like, he never does that. But I I picked him up and force cuddled him on my lap for a little bit tonight. Um, He was like, this is uncomfortable, but I missed you, so I'm going to sit here and take this. Yeah, he would. He likes the snuggles. He's a big baby. Yes. Even the little deaf one with dementia, Jada, my grandma's old dog, she was like, I missed you. Oh, my God, I thought you died. I forgot who you were, but I missed you. That's funny. I also like how you do your dog's voices because it's like your dogs didn't say that. <laughs> His dog voice is very much like the, the whale, whale furry voice. voice. Yeah, except we for noticed one day. have the trail. Yeah. Well, well like, whales are bigger, so they talk slower. That's how that works. That's funny. And I don't, and I gotta watch when I use the whale furry voice. I don't need to get Ariana too hot and bothered. Yeah, yeah right. She, she, she might start rubbing. I'll start rubbing my crotch. <laughs> yeah, that's why I set her elbow on you. But yeah, <laughs> I'll start rubbing my crotch on Missy's elbow. That's right. That's what's gonna happen. <sighs> Anyone that really likes Ariana, Google up whale furry pictures. Take some whale oh furry pictures God. of yourself and send them all <laughs> over to us. Find them Man, all over, like, there's at, at least yeah, probably there's gonna be like <laughs> at least a couple people at work I know listen to this. That's People great. at Ariana's work to listen to this. <laughs> Just find some whale furry pictures. Fucking draw some like sexy, like buff guy draw whale some cartoons. Sexy whales. <laughs> yeah, draw some sexy whales. Fucking draw whale a picture furries. of me queefing in their blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> Queef. 
Griffin by Blue Hole. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so the this beer, what this do we This beer. Rate? I rated it a 5. Yeah, I was going to say I was like thinking 5 or like 4.7. It's it's hard to I don't know cuz that's a really sweet beer and I don't I'm not typically a really sweet beer drinker, but it's it's I got could... it's just got that enough kick. I'm going to give it a 4 or 5. I uh, it's it's very good, very sweet, but for me more than one in a session. Right, you it's gonna be too much. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that to, I could I drink more than one. Throw them in ice, like I would have to drink them slowly with ice, because then the ice would definitely water it down. Like and I you could, could drink it easier, like that. Yeah, I could drink a can of it, but like you said, I don't think I'd be able to sit and drink like two or three of them. See, it, it, it's, two or three of them would be reminding me something to say along the lines of like a schnapps and level of sweetness, like. Oh, try to drink like just straight. Well, it doesn't have that schnapps kick because even the schnapps has like the throat kick from the, like the more alcohol. It, it's it. the sugar content and thickness for me. A little bit, yeah. The, the that's the what it is. The schnapps you can you don't get it as quick because you got the straight up higher alcohol content. But this, it, it, it's almost like that level of sweetness right. for me. So that's so, what I'm going four or five. See, so I was thinking, I like I don't. Either a five or a four point seven five is what I was thinking because it's like it's not my typical favorite type of beer, but it's actually really good. But I was always, you know, like my favorites are the bourbon barrels and like 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 heavy stouts. But this is not bourbony or stouty. So mm-hmm. like I said, like, like, like you said, are earlier, you doing four point seven five or five? I'll, just, I'll I'll be nice and give it a five. Like you know that extra. Point two five is going to make all the world a difference, you know. See, like you were uh, saying earlier, it, the best of both worlds would be something about halfway between this one and then the astronaut. Too. Yeah, I was thinking that about, too. about halfway between these two for sweetness. That would be, be perfect really good. on both of those. For Absolutely. Me. So I wrote down thick banana, mango, maple, small bubbles, sweet. Anything? Mm, juice, juicy, juicy, juicy. That's how I see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Breakfasty, breakfasty. I don't know that's if that's right. an option on there, but I'll write it That'd down. It'd be nice if you could just create your own options. Breakfasty or something similar. Right. Breakfasty. Morning. Uh, no, that's not an option. I don't know what you would. Brunchy. I don't know. Snacky. Snacky. Snack. Your snack. It's pretty good. Oh, so, so guess I'm gonna open this next beer. It's not quite time. Really close enough. It's, well, it's close enough. Well, well, it's cool. We'll be okay. We'll open this next beer. I remember the story I wanted to tell, so I'm going to tell this story. Um, did I do the RAR brewing? Did I? T- I don't think RAR. I did RAR. You did, did not. So we will go and say, I'll give the quick. So about RAR. Based in Cambridge, Maryland, on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay, local boys brewing local beers. We built our brewery in an 80-year-old former pool hall and bowling alley with the goal of maintaining the building's history while producing well-balanced American brews 10 barrels at a time. Proudly brewing since the summer of 2013 with no intentions of slowing down, striving to continuously produce products uh, that our community can take pride in, drink fresh. And so that's their little about. So like a detailed description of the can because we kind of went into it earlier. Um, The out of order can, it's got like a lot of orangey and peachy kind of colors to it. Um, Flapjacky colors maybe. Um, But we got ourselves a little drunken dog on there that looks similar to the old like, uh, what do we say, a freaking slush puppy dog? Yeah. But uh, he's uh, brown and white. Uh, He's wearing like a little, little black and white Hawaiian shirt with a little... Orange like neckerchief holding a plate of flapjacks wearing a shift hat with one eye kind of half shut drunk. Um, some good can artwork. Do we go through and really describe the astronaut can? Or astronaut can? Not really. So. Well. I can't remember what the slush puppy. That's what I'm, I'm looking it up right now because like. I'm like, as much as I remember. Yeah, I mean, it. Ish. You know what it reminds me more of? You're, um, God dang it. What is that damn that, dog? It's like the vintage slush puppy. That's the new slush puppy. Um, hold on. I um, can't remember what What were they looking? The uh, Urban Artifact Astronaut Food Can has like a kind of orange-purple color scheme going on with the Urban Artifact logo. So basically you look like you're on an orange planet with a purpley background. You got like, astronaut. like a little astronaut dude on like an old school like... Rover. Rover. Um... And a little bit artsy style, but you know, that's their game. Because we always gotta get those that just as it is. What the hell show was that? That stupid dog. 
who had, I think he kind of had red hair. I know what you're talking about. Was it Tom and Jerry? It might have been. That was another one. Droopy. Yeah, that's who he reminds me of. That's what I was thinking. It reminds me of that. Like Drunken Droopy? Yeah. Because, you know, and I like these slushy um, brands that, that, like, they basically have, like, like the Out of Order series, or they have, like, Drecker Dust Chonk, and um, they also do the, with the zombies. There you go. That's what it reminds me of more. More than the slush yeah. puppy. Yeah. 